Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nell Roy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we're back for the vlog, y'all. Check it, y'all. Check this out, man. Look, I've been surf fishing one, two, three, maybe three times. Three times by myself, okay? Now, I went a couple of weeks ago, and it took me a while to get my groove, okay? I had small success. I caught a couple of whitings. I think it was a bunnet shark, um, a catfish. You know, they, don't, they don't count. And a couple of drum. I had one keep drum. I had a 16-inch drum, y'all. I took it home. Thinking I'm about to eat. Worms. I've never seen a fish with worms in it. It had worms. All right, y'all. So I just um, started to fillet my 16-inch um, black drum. But got a question. I've never seen this before. But y'all, are these worms? I mean, those have to be worms, right? What is that? Let me know if these are worms. And don't tell me they're harmless to eat because ain't no way in hell I'm eating this. I will mail this fish to you if you give me your address. Let me know in the comments of oh, these worms. That looks kind of wormy to me. Could y'all believe that? And could y'all believe people actually was trying to tell me you can still eat it, just cut it out and fry it? It's just protein. Look, look, I don't know. Look, look. First of all, let me tell y'all something. Look, look, yeah, I'm about to go on a rant. Okay, look, I'm from the hood. Okay, I ain't no country boy. You know what I'm saying? We ain't eating possums and squirrels and nothing like that, and especially no fish with no worms in it. Okay? No, we ain't doing that. Okay, we 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 ain't doing that. Okay. So what I did was threw it away. Okay. But I'm gonna come back. For redemption, because I know what to do. I know what to do now, okay? I'm going to set up my beach setup, my base camp, and I'm confident. I'm confident that I am going to get that red. I don't want a bull red, because I want a nice slot red so I can take home and cook it. Because I'm trying to do catch clean cooks now, okay? So that's the goal. That's the goal. I think I can do it. That's how I'm pretty much right between the first and second gut. With my whoa, whoa, whoa. Enjoy the vlog. Let go! I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. So let's get our mullet. What I want to do is go right behind the fin. We're gonna get some of that head meat and put it right through the head. Look. There we go. That is mud brown. Uh, I've never in my life doing a mullet catch clean and cook. Look at that. Brown. Who the hell would eat this? All right. Anyway, so um, we'll put our mullet. Nice mullet head. I'm gonna go through the top of the lip, through the head, like that. All right. So that is our surf and turf. Alright y'all, so once again, the sabiki never fails. Um, like I say, I used these last time. I forgot I had them, so three hours of the fishing, I remember I had this, and sure enough, I started catching with time to leave. Now, the other thing with the sabiki, I had like a size four, super small hooks. My shrimps kept falling off. So what I'm trying this time is the size 14. Um, it comes with six hooks. Um, I have some live shrimp over here. Chop it up, put a little pieces on there. I had some fish bites. Um, I don't know. I have, I'm kind of skeptical of fish bites. I don't know if I had any luck. I only tried it once, so I might put fish bites on the end of each sabiki. Um, cast that out so I can get my croaker from my metal rod. Take that one out, get a big rod out. And um, yeah, progress, y'all, progress. It's all about setting up my station. Let's go. So that's how I'm pretty much right between the first and second gut. With my, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, what the hell? Yeah, I'm walking back. No, no. Are we on? I'm walking back. Is it on? It's coming towards me. It's gotta be coming towards me. It's a little headset. Yeah, I hit towards that second jet. We finally on something. Oh yes, baby. Look at that. 
That's a nice whitey. Oh, I'm eating you, homie. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Oh no, I got the hook in. We got the hook in. We got the hook in. All right. So I had whiting before. Y'all, these are some really good fish to eat. Like straight up good eating fish. So um, this is too big for my live bait. So is there a limit size? Let me check to see what size white it need to be. Hit again, hit again. Hit again. Y'all, that's the ticket. Right there between the second gut. Cut up your shrimp. That's the ticket. Going to the right. This is gonna be a perfect, it's gonna be a big one. What is that? Y'all, that a trout? Oh my God, that's a trout. That is a nice trout. No, no, no. No, 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 wait, don't get it. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. That's what we doing. This is what we doing. Y'all, this is my first trout of the year. Look how beautiful that is. First trout of the year. Look at the colors on it, man. Matter of fact, I've never caught a speckled trout in a surf before. This is my first one. First speckled trout in a surf. Shut up, man. What? What? Beautiful colors, man. All right, y'all, so I'm back at home, back in the kitchen, and ready to do some cleaning and cooking. I hope you enjoyed the catch segment of the vlog, you know what I'm saying? So as far as what am I gonna do with that speckled trout? Fish taco, but not just any fish taco. Check it out, y'all. I'm gonna do something a little different, different. Hold on, let me get that focus on. Yeah, we're gonna do some mango pico del gallo fish tacos. Now I know what some y'all gonna, you know, what's y'all gonna say in the comments? You know what I'm saying? Them haters, what's them haters gonna say, Renell? Renell, how come me ain't making no homemade pico del gallo? Because I'm tired, that's right. I spent 14 hours fishing, shot two blocks, and I don't feel like making no pico del gallo. So we're gonna use this from ACB. I think it's gonna be great. All right, y'all, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, what I need to do is start my rice because it's gonna take the longest to cook. I mean, theoretically, when you cook, you wanna have all your, you know, dishes ready at the same time, finishing at the same time. Of course, when you're shooting the YouTube video on top of that, never happens. So I'm gonna be using, this is Conor Fiesta side Spanish rice. So yeah, you know, taco Spanish rice. I think it's gonna be good. All right, y'all, so here is the star of our show. This is that 16 inch speckled trout I caught in the surf. I was not planning to catch this, didn't have no kind of net on me, but I was able to grab it by hand as I saw on the vlog. So, I know that some people, when they fillet speckled trout, they'll just do like one cut, turn their knife, boom, one motion. Now look, this is the only trout I have. So I don't think I have the opportunity to try to test that out because I can't mess this up. I, got, I gotta have this fish for the rest of the, you know, the vlog, you know what I'm saying? So what I need to do is take my time with it. So we're gonna do one cut right behind the fin, which is way easier than the sheep head I did last week. There we go, one cut behind the fin. We're gonna turn our knife and just work away along the edge here. Right on top of that skin. There we go. Let's take our time with it, man. Ain't no hurry. Ain't no hurry. Let's come 
back. Now I'm gonna just not go through the tail. I know it's supposed to be easier you like just flip it, but we'll see. So we'll just check out that skin. And the worms looks good. Yeah, it looks good, y'all. So let's go ahead and just go along this. Oh yeah. Speckle trout is definitely one of the easier fish to fillet. Definitely. So I'm just working my way along that pin bone. Let's get the top here. There we go. All right. Not that much carnage. All right, so we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna keep our tail on. I'm gonna try the lead the tail on to lay it as leverage. I'll go there, start working our way along the bottom. Once again, man, I love this Bubba knife. This is the first real fillet knife I ever owned. And I know some people on the Bubba for Fishing page, because I was asking like, which knife should I get? The Bubba seven inch or nine inch? So m most people said nine inch, but a lot of people were saying, you know, you should get like a Dexter knife. So yeah, but I have to shoot this video, so I got what I got. So that is one nice looking fillet. No bloodline, I didn't bleed it. So that is natural, man. Beautiful fillet. All right, so next up y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my tortillas, which is actually these bakery tortillas. Y'all check this out, man. I'm gonna put y'all on game. H-E-B makes homemade flour tortillas. Yo, I picked this bag up this morning. I had to drop it because of the steam. So we'll try them out. I never had them before. All right, so I don't know where y'all from, but you know, I was born in Corpus Christi. You know, one of my aunts is Mexican. So if you're gonna do tortillas, you gotta do it the right way. So here we got our cast iron skillet on medium. And um, yeah, gotta butter them up, man. If y'all ain't never had buttered flour tortillas, you're missing out. It's like, it's like, it's like a, a donut. It's like the Mexican donut. Butter tortillas is the Mexican donut. I just made that up, okay? All right, so check this out, y'all. Take your butter. Spin it around about the same size as your tortilla. So, simply throw it in. And just kind of give it a couple of swirls. Um, shout out Facebook friend, Irfan, or Fran. And he says, when you do this, you gotta, you know, do it with your hand. You know, I think, part of that second degree burn puts the flavor into the flour tortilla, okay? So we got that, a couple of spins. It's gonna be real quick. Spin it around, kind of rotate it. Literally maybe like 15 seconds per side. So I can just eat this by itself, like 10 of them. Flip it, spin it around. Get that third degree burn. That third degree burn has to love in the tortillas. You know what I'm saying? Here. What I'm gonna do with my fish here, my fillets, I pat dried them so, you know, they're very dry. And I have a, like a lot of flavoring going on with this. So I'm gonna keep it simple with just, you know, ground pepper and pink sea salt. Ground pepper and pink sea salt. What's the difference between pink sea salt and regular sea salt? I don't know. I'm just trying to be bougie, all right? So let's try it out. So we're just gonna do a little pepper, just a little bit, fresh ground, pink sea salt, a couple of dashes, there you go, flip it around, same. Flip it around. Yeah. I can't believe I'm using like ground and pepper. I'm from the hood. I don't even know where I'm getting this from. All right, so our pan is getting nice and hot. Smoke alarm is probably about to go off. Matter of fact, let's go throw in a fan before it does. Put that butter in there. That's so. All right, let's get y'all adjusting a little bit so y'all can better see what's going on. So we're just gonna sear it up like that. Gotta work, baste it, throw our trout. I'm thinking like two minutes on each side. 
gonna be quick. Two minutes on each side. I'm gonna flip it. There we go. Flip it. You see that? Okay, so do not overcook your fish. Do not overcook your fish. So one minute on that side. Progress, y'all. Definite progress. All right, so what we're gonna do now, now that we have our mixture here, let's start working on creating our taco. All right. There we go. So with our taco here, we'll get our taco shells. Remember the buttery tacos? Oh yeah, this is my taco holder. Y'all, I am so bougie, oh my God. Anyway, um, <laughs> we'll just put our taco holder there. Uh -huh, y'all like this, don't you? If I'm feeling nice, I'll put the link in the description on where I found this at. Okay, so there's my taco holder. So next, what we're gonna do is move our cheese out the way. There we go. Um, get our fish, right? Small fillets, so we're gonna do a little bit of fish. A couple of strips of fish in each one. Not a lot, not a lot. Gotta say something for my wife. There you go, a couple of pieces of fish. Um, so next, I believe the next layer, what I wanna do is the actual the pico, mango pico. Layer that. See that? It looks great, doesn't it? Focus camera. Focus. You got me dropping. No, never mind. Anyway, y'all see it later. All right. So get a little mango pico. Just kind of pour that in there. Got to keep our plate clean. There we go. Another scoop of mango pico. Right on top. I hope this is good. <laughs> I hope this is good. There we go. All right, so we got our mango pico. Okay. Um, I think what I want to do next, while I still have the opportunity to get to the meat, put a little lime. So we'll put a little lime juice, as so. So after the lime juice, pico, we're gonna go with the shredded lettuce mixture. There we go. Beautiful presentation right now, good job. All right. All right, after the lettuce, we're going with the um, cow or goat cheese. There we go. Like that. And that is the basis of my fish taco. So let me work on the finished product for my presentation. I'll give you all the money shot. We'll hit the table, do a little QA, and eat. Be right back. y'all so we're at the table time to do a little, a little taste test of the speckled trout mango Just put a little lime on there Let's try it out man i mean it looks good hopefully it tastes good as it looks right y'all saw that look let's take a look okay first impression is might be the best taco I ever had. No, no, I'm not saying it because I made it. Like, this is really good. The mango tastes sweet. The pico tastes great. These fresh flour tortillas are good. 
So yeah, man, I would definitely recommend mango speckled trout. Y'all saw how I made it. Um, easy recipe, so I would definitely give it a try if I were you. And um, this is, let me see. So this is better than sheep head. It's better than red. Um, I don't know, man, flounder, speckled trout, mango. It's kind of like right there, right there. So out of a 10, it's like a nine. Nine and a half, it's really good. So I definitely recommend it. Now, as I know, I'm just not gonna be eating. I'm gonna be answering some of your questions and doing the QA. My beautiful wife is in the background. She's got some questions for me. Who we got, who we coming from, what you got? They love Gucci Dan asks, what's the best fishing spot in Houston that you know of? Drop the Addy. Drop the Addy. What's the best fishing spot in Houston? I'm gonna tell you, man, I, I haven't found that best fishing spot in Houston because y'all know I kind of started Freshwater Tuesdays maybe like three months ago. So I'm still trying to search for that quote unquote, you know, honey hole. Um, but once I do, you think I'm actually telling you that? I ain't, I ain't telling you where the best you know, spot at. I have a Patreon. I might have a Patreon coming soon and I'll drop the Addy. Next. Leslie Thomas asks, do you enjoy the sport of fishing? What do you enjoy about the Yes, Leslie, I do enjoy the sport of fishing. Um, I'm from Corpus Christi, so I was fishing since like day one. I think I remember when I was like four years old, I had like a little Snoopy pole, and that's how I started back in Baytown fishing. So I've been doing it all my life. Now, as far as creating videos, I love making content. Videos and just, you know, beyond YouTube. Um, I was doing like binds and stuff on Facebook. So yeah, if you Google me, you'll know what I mean. So I love making content. I love telling the story. And yeah, I would totally do this for free. Not all the time, but I would. I love content. So I am a content creator. Next. Sergio Molina asks, what made you want to pursue a fishing channel? What made me want to pursue a fishing channel? Back in April, 2020, when everybody was on lockdown because you know, of the C word, I can't say it. But I was watching a lot of YouTube and one day I came across somebody named MDLR Fishing, Mark, fishing on a kayak. And after watching like 500 of his videos, I decided, hey, I wanna do this, I can do this too. So July 1st, 2020, I decided to create Fishing Trips. My channel was born and here I am, about 10 months later. Um, I started like 300 subscribers, currently we're at 3,000. The goal is to try to get 10,000 by the end of 2021. So please, share this video and subscribe. Next. BRTP Outdoors asks, what's your favorite fish to catch and why? My favorite fish to catch, um, I would have to say flounder, man. It's such an interesting bite because with flounder, you know, the bite itself is just, it's not like, you know, aggressive. It's just like you just kind of, bam, you just get stuck. And that's thing you know, a uh, heck breaks loose once you get hooked up. So flounder is definitely my favorite fish to catch, probably because it's my favorite fish to eat. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna go for now. No more questions, no more questions. So um, yeah, definitely check out the recipe, y'all. I want y'all to try it. But before you go, please remember, like this video, comment, because I will respond to your comment, haters and all. Share the video with your friends. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Share, share. And last but not least, remember to subscribe. Please subscribe, y'all. I put a lot of work into this. I just hope y'all like it. Until next time, peace.